uh, Mr. C over there in the white shirt. Mr. C and Trudy Pitts was really the ones that were responsible for us to get the, this new building. Because the first club club was on 13th and Washington Avenue. So when we got a chance to build this new building, uh, he was responsible for it. And the first programs we did was called uh, Jazz in the Sanctuary. And he would bring in special guests. In this particular performance, he had uh, uh, Clark Terry and Al Gray. Then later on, I think the last job that Stanley Tarantino played in Philadelphia was at one of the Arts in the Sanctuary. So, brother, please introduce yourself. Okay. I'm Lovett Hines. I'm the artistic director of the Philadelphia Cleft Club. So, Lovett Hines, it's, it's a wonderful pleasure to have just a few minutes to talk with you. Uh, we're down here at the Cleft Club in uh, downtown Philadelphia. And uh, I just want you to tell me about uh, this space. And, uh, you know, I had the opportunity to spend some time with Alfie Paulette here. And I want you to tell me some of the stories about the programs that you hear where you would bring in someone like Alfie Paulette. Well, the great thing about the Philadelphia Club Club is a multi-purpose arts institution now. Before, when it was the Club Club, was mainly the, the social arm of 274. But in our new site, we expanded that. So we have education programs, we have, uh, of course, presenting programs where we bring in artists. We have a, a jazz series called Jazz Cultural Voices. And, of course, the most important thing that we are proud of is being a resource for musicians here in Philadelphia. Yeah. We have practice rooms. And uh, we also have an area where musicians can come and meet and talk and, and then be mentors to our young people. One of the programs we have is our virtual education program, and that was forced because of COVID-19. And we didn't want to stop the education program, which was all on site. So what we did establish this virtual education program, and everybody understands how difficult it is to reach young people virtually. But we wanted to do something that was creative, but we also wanted to add, keep going, dealing with the history aspect. Because Club Club is, I mean, Philadelphia is so rich and so many wonderful musicians that young people don't have any idea the music they're learning about, how important the establishment and the creation and the composing that happened here in Philadelphia. Yeah. You know? And so what we did is establish we call it our virtual masterclass series. Yeah. And it happens every Saturday. You know, I noticed at, outside you have a billboard of, uh, you know, uh, Philadelphia's favorite son, Reggie Work. Yes, yes. And he's going to be on one of your Zoom performances, I yeah. believe, in the next couple of days. In the next couple of days. Talk right. about that and yeah. how you uh, brought your programs online, and no doubt due, due to COVID. Yeah. And tell me about what that transformation was like. Okay. Well, of course, we, were, we, we get grants from the National Endowment for the Arts, from PNC, or a program called Arts Alive, where we can actually bring musicians into our performing uh, area of the club club. And one of the things that we wanted to do is continue to do that because we had the funding. So we had to come up with a effective way to bring those artists that we had on our roster in. So we went to, because of COVID-19, we went to virtual and streaming. And the streaming program helped us to continue our guest artist program. And in our guest artist program, they are master classes. Yeah, yeah. And we bring in artists. This year, we brought in Sumi Tanuka. We brought in Joey DeFrancesco. We brought in one of our young grads with Jaleel Shaw. We're going to bring in Reggie Workman that we're really proud of. And he's been with us for, for many years, even in some of the beginning days. Yeah. He came down and did a residency with our kids. Uh, we stay in touch with those kinds of musicians. So Reggie Workman is going to be our next artist we can present in master classes. Now, they are the special ones. They are granted. We get a grant from the National Endowment of Arts to bring those artists in. Right. What we do with our Saturday class, we bring in our local artists. Right, right. And, and it's so, so impelling because these are some people that the students have seen and heard about but they really don't know about them. Exactly. They don't exactly. know the extent of, of Alfie Pollard. Right. You know, and the great thing about Alfie Pollard, he's a mainstay in Philadelphia, 
and so much history yeah. comes yeah. firsthand from artists like Alfie and Sam Reed and Alan Nelson and Jamal Takuma. You know, those musicians, when they tell how they grew up in Philadelphia, how they expanded the music, how they went out and played with people like Ornette Coleman. Right. Or the story right. of how, how Alfie, who played jazz with almost everybody, right. his relationship with the Grub Brothers. But then later on, how did he get to the point where he can play R and B with with Teddy Pendergrass? Exactly. And, and, and Sam Reed has told the same story. Yeah, yeah. And the thing about it, what it does for our young people, it helps them to integrate the music rather than separating the music. Absolutely. We want them to be Absolutely. competent musicians so yes. they can play in any style. That's right. And you know that competency in in any style mm -hmm. is really synonymous with Philadelphia because when you look at the different movements, you know whether it's it's, it's, it's uh, uh, doo-wop, <laughs> or whether it's neo-soul, right. or whether it's, you know, the great jazz scene, you know, mm -hmm. with the Heath Brothers and Reggie yeah. Workman and all the great musicians, yeah. you know, uh, that came up in the Philadelphia area. Mm -hmm. There's just so many musical movements, whether yeah. it's Philadelphia International, <laughs> just so many yeah. great uh, musical movements that came out of this yeah. town mm -hmm. and uh, and so you have to really uh, be on top of your game as a musician here so that you can move from genre to genre yeah. just to eat. Yeah, just to, and I think something else is really, really important about, about Philadelphia right now and about that history we were just talking about yeah. is that if you look at the music scene today, the top musicians in the industry, Christian McBride, Joey D. Francesco, a young man, Emmanuel Wilkins, right. you know, Jonathan Blake. These young men grew up in this atmosphere. Right, right. This music was all around them. This style was around them. A lot of the musicians we were talking about, like Alfie, uh, 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 Sam Reed, Odin Pope, right. were their mentors. Right? And, and what happens is they soak this in. Right, they used this. They go out. They went out to the cl the clubs. They went out to performances. They saw Odin and the saxophone choir. Right, right. they right. grew up, and now they took that in, and th they incubated it <laughs> to where yeah. they are now. Yeah. So when we talk about the history of music, where it is now, right, it's in those young people who came through that whole process. And now are the mainstays, all the creators of where the music is going. Chris McBride, seven Grammy Awards. That's right. That's you know, right. Uh, and you know, and the director <laughs> up at the Newport Jazz and Festival. And the director of Newport yeah. Jazz Festival. That's you right. Know, and not only does he bring jazz people in, he'll bring in uh, uh, funk people in. That's right. You know, That's right. You know. And without apologies. <laughs> without <laughs> apology, and he don't have to do it. You know, he he equally says by his love for for Ray Brown. That's right. And James Brown. That's right. The seventeenth John Coltrane's passing. Not his birthday is passing. Exactly. So what are we going to do for that? Let's get the kids involved. And that's the kind of energy that I think exists in Philadelphia right now. Understanding our history, right? Perpetuating our history, perpetuating our history and developing those young people who can go out on a world class level, right? And, and create the benchmark of where the music is going. And you know, and that's the historic legacy of and, the city of Philadelphia. And that's it. Brother, I want to say thank you so very much for your time. I can't wait to get back so we can <laughs> okay. take a deeper dive All right. into this place yeah. that you run and just the entire history of uh, the Philadelphia scene. I can't wait okay. to get back. Thank you so much. Okay.